Hello everyone, I am Raw Toast and welcome back to another First Impressions and Review. Today we are discussing Predator Hunting Grounds, the newest game to come from Illphonic, the, dev uh, the development company that made Deadlines and Friday the 13th game, and was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment and developed in the Unreal Engine. Predator Hunting Grounds was released on the 24th of April 2020 on PS4 and Microsoft Windows. Currently there are two editions of the game, the Standard and Digital Deluxe Edition. The Digital Deluxe Edition is $90.99 and the Standard Edition is $59.99, all Australian currency. The Standard Edition only comes with just the base game, which is totally fine, I think it's a reasonable price, and the Deluxe Edition comes with several different items. They are some exclusive skins, two 48-hour XP boosts, five field lockers, which are the, the loot boxes of the game, and a 120-page comic. Predator Hunting Grounds is an asymmetrical shooter with a 4v1 scenario. Four soldiers versus one predator. The soldiers are there to complete the objectives they have for the game for the map, and the predator is there to kill them. The game and its gameplay is loosely based around the first predator film from 1987, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, who leads a squad of paramilitary troops on a mission to rescue hostages held in guerrilla territory. Now within the game, you are not rescuing hostages there are several different types however of gameplay that you have if you're playing as the fire team generally the the mission is you find the gorilla encampment you kill them all you destroy a whole bunch of things you kill certain key people and then you extract out of the game simple and effective you have a good selection of guns not a massive amount but you've also got perks and gadgets but sadly there is actually not that many attachments for the weapons as well however if you play as the predator you have one sole objective kill the fire team and with any luck and the right amount of timing turn them into your trophies it's a really really sick animation where you rip the spine out oh it's juicy and then you hang it off the back of your belt the predator has really really cool and fun weapons not a huge amount of them but they are still really really sick and they also have perks and gadgets themselves there is a sizable amount of customization that you can do within the game to both the fire team and the predator from changing the loadout of weapons, perks and gadgets such as grenades and healing items to a plethora of skins for your character and weapons. The skins can be only obtained in two ways. Accumulate currency to purchase them or get them out of a loot crate. And there is only two ways to get a loot box. Those are purchase them with said in-game currency or, or you receive one from leveling up. Kind of like what Overwatch does with their level up system. But I know exactly what you're thinking. Great, loot boxes. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> but thankfully, there is no paid elements to this game. There is no paid elements to obtaining them. The only way to get them are the ways I said before, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So there's no cash shop. There is no cash shop within this whole game, which I was very, very surprised about. Although there is one element that you could argue as a pay to win feature if you really tried hard enough. And that's the deluxe edition with the two 48 hour XP boosts. Honestly, when I was playing solo and with my friends, I had no issues winning the game and killing the Predator from when I was level 1 to when I was level whatever it is that I am now. Being a low level is not bad. The starting gear is actually very, very good. You start with good grenades, you start with good healing items, you have a good assault rifle, good pistol, and the Predator. The Predator starts with a wicked claw, the big laser mounted shoulder cannon, healing items, so there's not really any benefits of having these XP boosts unless you're really trying to get very specific guns that you would like to unlock. Like personally, I really want to unlock the AK-47 because that's been my always go-to gun for quite a few of these games. I'm not sure why, it's just my favourite, that and usually like an M4 kind of thing. But as I said, I personally feel it's not a pay to win situation in any way, shape or form. Have your own opinion, absolutely. But that, that's just how I feel about it. You know, I was quite comfortable with it, with how it was presented, and I did not feel like someone who was clearly higher level than me, because they had more skins than me, more uh, higher level tiered skins than me, they weren't doing better than me. And I really appreciate that. I played the game for quite a few hours with my friends and by myself, both playing as the fire team and as the predator. Now, I had a great time playing both. I think the, the fire team was really, really cool, very simple. It's like a running gun kind of situation. You know, you've played this kind of game a hundred times already, but they did it nicely. And the Predator was really interesting. It, it felt, it was very fast, very impactful, and just awesome. Your gadgets are so cool, and it felt devastating when you when you caught up to a fire team member and just tore them apart, grabbed them as a trophy, and win the game. 
Now I've got a numerous pros and cons for this game. I was very happy with what I received, but with that being said, there is also going to be some negatives to the game as well, because that, in my opinion, nothing is perfect. But oftentimes the things that are bad can always be fixed. On the pros list, no cash shop. As I said earlier, that is fantastic. I'm so glad this game um, and the dev team at Ilphonic and Sony as well didn't push them to put a cash shop in the game. I hope this stays as a precedent for this game. Otherwise, ugh, I wouldn't be happy. The gunplay is good. Gunplay feels nice. It's good. Was not, uh, was not unhappy with it, and it felt nice. There is progression. You can level up your profile, which then levels up uh, your character so you can get more guns, more perks, and all that cool stuff. The scene is set very well. As soon as you start the game, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. There is no messing around, there's no, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. It's, it's exactly, it tells you exactly what you need to know. That was great. Crossplay. This game allows PC and PS4 players to crossplay. I could not be happier that more companies are integrating this into their games. The mission ending depend changes depending on whether you kill the predator. This I found was very, very cool. There are technically four ways to finish the game as the fire team. Complete the mission, uh, die, kill the predator and they self detonate or kill the predator and then you finish killing them uh, before, they sell, uh, before they can activate self detonation. All of them give a different cinematic and a different ending, all with different XP rewards. I think that was a really, really cool feature and a nice attention to detail there. The price is reasonable. I'm quite happy to pay $60 for a game I can jump in and play with my friends and have a very, very good time with. You can farm XP and currency at private games. This may sound kind of bad, but uh, that's where I disagree. If you're playing with your friends, say you've got four or five people, one predator, four, four soldiers, and you just want to play for a few hours, you can still level up, you can still get the unlockables, I think that's fantastic that they allowed you to do that. The animations are slick, smooth, and I really enjoyed them. And the music is, is wonderful. When I first opened the game, I was greeted by the original Predator song, and I was so happy. On the cons list, the party system needs work. Like, it was terrible, honestly. It was very unintuitive, very annoying to use, to be perfectly honest. Character collision is awkward. When you walk into a character, you're like thrown all over the place. <laughs> Not enough content for long-term play. I feel like this is a game you could comfortably play 15, 20 hours in, but then after that, it'll feel very, very repetitive. AI is dumb. We'll be in a full firefight with half a dozen AI, like the gorillas, and there'll be one just behind a building 20 meters away. We'll have no idea what's happening or they'll just walk right past you because they lock into one target and nothing else. Personally, I would prefer a longer game. If you play the game out to its fruition, so you do the full objective, you fight the predator and so on and so forth, the game is about 15 minutes. I personally wanted a game for about 30 to 45 minutes. Not enough maps. There's currently only three maps. They are good maps, they're well made, but I wanted more of them. Especially paying $60, I did have a slightly higher expectation. All maps look extremely similar. All the maps are jungle based, so they do look very, very similar, and that is a bit... I was hoping there'd be a bit more... variety, like I would have loved an urban environment, like from the second Predator film, for example, or suburban, or something like that, you know, or even like a dense forest rather than a jungle. Still, I did enjoy myself in this game. I did quite a bit. I will give this game a 6.5 out of 10. It was a good game. It's a certainly an above average game and I will happily continue to play this game but I feel the cons did weigh a bit more than I would like them to have. However all these problems can be quite easily fixed especially with future DLC, future patches and so on and so forth. So that is everything I have to say about Predator Hunting Grounds. Did you Have you played this game yet? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. So that is everything from me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please have a lovely day.